Hydrogen cars offer a green alternative to the carbon guzzling vehicles we have become so accustomed to. At the Royal Society, Business Minister Mark Prisk announced a new project to ensure the UK is well positioned for the commercial rollout of hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. I've come to find out how the technology works and even take the Vauxhall hydrogen car for a spin. This is uh, our first generation fuel cell vehicle. Um, we have built about 120 of them. This is the largest uh, market test of those fuel cell vehicles, which we hope to bring to market uh, to be able to retail them in 2016. So it is an electric car. Uh, it's an electric car that makes its own electricity from hydrogen. Um, this uh, electricity is produced in a fuel cell. A fuel cell was invented um, actually in England in the 18th century. Um, it's simply the reverse uh, chemical operation, electrochemical operation uh, from electrolysis. You put hydrogen and oxygen together and this generates electricity, the only byproduct being water vapor. Yeah, this, uh, as I said, this is an electric car, so you have a, a, a norm uh, power, which is about 100 horsepower, and the peak horsepower is about 130. So it okay. doesn't look uh, like much for a car of this mm -hmm. size and weighing about two tons. Yeah. And the great thing with uh, electric motor is you have the torque as you leave the green line. So we have 320 newton meter of torque, mm -hmm. which is equivalent to a big, you know, turbo diesel of today. The good thing is today already, to drive 100 miles is the same cost as with the petrol or diesel engine. Uh, we produce every year about 50 million tons of hydrogen, so we know how to produce it uh, efficiently. It's just a matter now of bringing it onto the road you know, for a mobility infrastructure, um, and that's why we're here today. <laughs> I'm now um, in, the new, in the new Vauxhall, uh, driving through the centre of London, and I can tell you that it's incredibly quiet. Uh, it feels just like a normal car, it runs very smoothly, it looks just like a normal car. It has all of the standard gadgets that you would expect, um, and yeah, I'm really very impressed. I was so impressed, in fact, I just had to have a go myself. But what happens when you run out of hydrogen? Well, it's really straightforward. This, this is obviously a mock-up, um, but it's very similar to what we have in, say, the, the bus station in London. So we have um, the, the control and the programming and the visuals, people can see what they're doing. And then this is clearly just the nozzle um, that, is, that goes into the vehicle that feeds the hydrogen. So behind here, you would have your hydrogen storage. Um, for the bus station in London, we've got um, uh, three, uh, four, just over 400 bars of uh, hydrogen stored on site. And that, that is essentially it. So if you have high pressure hydrogen, then that will feed directly into the, into the vehicle at the right pressure. And it's fully controlled by the control system. Hydrogen doesn't flow until all this uh, nozzle block is in place and all the safety checks on the line have been done. So um, it's a very simple process, really. Some of the stations do have compressions and they have lower pressure hydrogen as a store and then they compress it up to the fried pressure which then feeds into the vehicles. Okay. But it, it, you know, there, are, there are different combinations but ultimately you have hydrogen and you dispense some of your vehicles. Hydrogen fuel cell technology could even be seen in London's dirty black cabs. And at the moment I am sitting in typical, what you could call, traditional London black cab. It's not so typical because this one is a 100% zero emission free option. Normal black cab runs on normal petrol. Uh, this runs out of battery with combination with fuel cell. Fuel cell is basically an engine. So where normally you would fill a car within a minute or two with the petrol, this car with less than five minutes you fill with hydrogen. It's actually faster. Uh, we can get at the peak power, we can get 90 kilowatts. Uh, when we really step on the pedal, we can make 93 miles per hour. Uh, it is very quick startup, so 0 to, 60 sec 0 to 60, it does it in 15 seconds. So it's very, very good. It's very easy to drive for the taxi driver because they don't have to worry about gears. It only has one gear and you just slow down, speed up, it's like an automatic. We will see cups like this during the London Olympics. They will be used for some VIP guests and after that we will be working on lightweight version and 
around the 2014-2015, we should see full deployment.